You mustn't get up. <laughs> What was that cry? Martell, I would assume. The out-of-control Great Seed is Martell herself. I wonder... The Great Seed is once again bound in the holy ground of Carlon. For that, I owe you my gratitude. Thank you. It seems that you have managed to save the Great Seed as well as this world. If the Great Seed is intact, then I presume Martell, who's fused with it, is safe as well? I'm sure that's good news for you. I wish I could say the same for me. Colette, it looks like things have settled down. It's gross, isn't it? It's disgusting, isn't it? It's... It, it's... Uh... It's not at all. Stay away! Don't look at me! Colette! It's okay, she just fainted. Let's take her back to the village. To Isalia? But Lloyd and I were banished. Colette's home is in Isalia. Besides, we can't just leave behind the people who were held at the ranch. All right. Let's go to Asalia. Then I'll notify Sheena to meet you at Asalia. Farewell for now. I see. So the angels of Crucius were really half-elves. Please don't tell anyone about this. We don't want to start a panic. Indeed. Especially now that the Tower of Salvation is gone. I wouldn't dare tell people the truth. Tower of Salvation is gone? After that frightening earthquake, the tower disappeared from the eastern sky, along with that monstrosity. How could it disappear? I don't know. The Chosen never completed the ritual of regeneration. The Crucius core system, which controls the appearance of the tower, may have malfunctioned. It is of little consequence. No, it's not. It's a tremendous shock to the people of Silverhunt. After a giant earthquake sunders the land, the symbol of salvation vanishes. The Chosen will be held responsible. Why? Lots of other Chosen have failed up till now, too. The others have paid for their failure with their lives. But Colette is still alive. When people are suffering, they feel the need to place the blame on someone. It is not fair to Colette. I'm gonna go see what's going on in the village. I'll go too. Let's all go together then. Sounds like it's a bit sketchy for you to be walking around by yourself. I'll stay here. Go on. Hey there everyone, I'm Folky Fatherweight, and welcome to the second disc, or what it would what it would be the second disc, I guess, <laughs> of Tales of Symphonia. Sorry for the little abrupt ending in the last part, but uh, yeah, it was getting pretty long of an episode and I couldn't really find a good place to actually end it, so yeah, I just decided to cut right after that cutscene. It was badass, so it was a nice place to stop stop the video I'll say. <laughs> so yeah, last time we saved the world. Wow. From the giant tree that went berserk. And today we are just gonna walk around in Sailor, I guess. See how happy people are that we're actually back. Cough cough, not very happy. But uh alright. Uh yeah yeah yeah. For some reason I always think that, that I need to go here, but we do not actually. We want to go up to the school. Sheesh. It's not that big of a village. <laughs> Ow! You're not talking again, huh? This is an outrage. Those were banished returning without permission. The Chosen failed astrociously. It's the end of the world. Well, he certainly hasn't changed. 
And on top of all that, people we thought were elves are actually half-elves. I bet you were the ones that led the science here to attack the village. Well, yeah, definitely haven't changed. Wh what did you say? Mayor, he's just a child. It doesn't matter if he's a child, he's a half-elf. Okay, I heard enough of you. Now, listen. It's true that the Professor and Genus are half-elves, so... but... so what? If a sword won't discriminate, then why do you? Eh, sorry, I just had to. They're good half-elves, just as they are bad humans, like you. <laughs> what does this kid know? You were raised by a dwarf. It's no wonder you caused the Chosen to fail their journey. And you even brought a bunch of dirty prisoners back here. Wow! It's almost like I want to send them to the ranch myself. Even though, there's really no point. And I'm a nice guy! This guy deserves every bad thing that happens to him. It's intolerable how much pain you cause the good humans of this village. W what? That's enough. You're just complaining about everything. Yeah, you're like a typical... You know, no, I'm gonna stop now before I get bombarded by these likes. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can guess what I was about to say, though. Does any part of you beside your mouth even work? Chocolat. Yeah, you tell him. I had all I can handle of this jump. You criticize and attack people for their birth and upbringing. Things they cannot change. It is you who are not human. What? We have an arrangement with the designs. Yeah, and now they're gone. So you can stop being such a tight ass and just go drowning yourself in the river. Please. Okay, that was dark, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a duty to protect this village, isn't that right? Uh, well, I guess he got a little point, but he doesn't need to be such an asshole because of it. Say something! Janus is the smartest person in this village. He even knows factorizations that you don't know. The professor is scary when she's angry, but when I know the answer, she's happy too. Lloyd is not good at school, but he's the strongest in the village. He saved me when I was attacked by monsters. Colette. She al she's always falling down and stuff, but she never cries. She doesn't cry even when it hurts. Colette is really grown up. Everyone. Rain! Sh shut up, children. Go away. These children understand the truth much better than you. Do you th Who do you think you are? And it's not just you. Everyone shoved all their responsibilities on the Chosen and Lloyd and the others. What have you done? You haven't done anything except for complaining. We are powerless! Yes, but even powerless, we can still aid the Chosen and her companions when they return exhausted to the village. Mare, your words are so shallow that even a child can see through them. You say that you are powerless and force everything onto the Chosen. But when push comes to shove, you turn and blame her? That's just too much. For Sisters is dead. There are no more restrictions upon this village. We will take in the Chosen and her companions, and the people of the ranch. And Mayor, we're not going to let you say a word about it. Yeah! Everyone, are you sure? I'm a half-elf, remember? But you were raised in this village, and Lloyd is like a member of this village too. Thank you, everyone. Fine, do whatever you want. <laughs> I love this scene just because the mayor finally gets what he deserves. Well, except for the stabbing part, but yeah. <laughs> I must apologize too. What? You saved me, and yet I, I couldn't bring myself to accept it. I heard at the ranch about how you were kind to Grandma. Thank you. Thank you, Chocolat. I'll always remember Marble for the rest of my life. She's the one that pretty much started it all. She's the one that really wanted Lloyd to start... Well, <laughs> getting rid of the X-Fear problems and all that stuff, so... Yeah, you better remember her. <laughs> but anyway, Rain ran off, so let's go to her house because, well, she's here. Well, what's left of their house, I guess. Professor, what is it? No, it's nothing, just... No, no, never mind. Hmm? Perhaps this village has some hope left for it, after all. You know, I was really looking forward to you chewing out the mare. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm not stupid enough to waste my t time lecturing pigs. Well, well, my apologies. <laughs> that is a very, very nice line there, Rain. 
Now, of course, as I said way back in the beginning of the game, there is a dog here that you need to name with Colette, but you couldn't do it in the beginning because he was hiding. Well, we can do it now, after we get Colette back, of course, since, well, she's not with us right now. <笑>でも、村長は。ああいうバカはほっとけって。頭の硬い人はどこにだっているわ。少しずつ私たちが周りを変えていくしかないのよ。じゃあ、セリアは小さな第一歩ってとこだな。私にとっては大きな前進。え
Then why didn't you follow Yggdrasil's orders? To leave the Great Seed alone? I have my reasons, that's all. But as a result, Martell was not lost. That goes along with Yggdrasil's wishes. It's true, then. You really are our enemy. Lloyd. What? If you want to save the Chosen, you should research the records from the ancient Carlon War. Remember the words of the Unicorn at Lake Umasi. Wait, why are you with Crucius when you're a human? What is he trying to do? It gets more and more confusing every time he speaks. And of course, we lose one party member and the other one comes back. Hey, wasn't that Kratos just now? Sheena! Yeah, he returned to Crucius. I see. So he really is our enemy. Yeah, but anyway, welcome back. Thanks. Thank goodness we stopped the giant tree. Yeah. Hmm. By the way, this episode will only be a little talking with our party members. I think we deserve a little break after all that what happened. Anyway, hey Regal, what's up? This whole time, Colette hid her suffering deep in her heart. I'll be honest, that actually scared me. I did not expect voice acting. Right here. <laughs> and always kept a smile on her face. Yeah, and once again, I failed to notice. She is a courageous girl. It takes tremendous strength to smile no matter how dire the situation. Colette hides her suffering too much. It's okay for her to let her true feelings show. She knows the power that words possess. Power of words? Your will manifests itself in the words you speak. Whether they be curses or words of joy, the soul of those words yields power. I get it. Okay, and I'm gonna say it out loud right now. I will save Colette and both worlds. Wow. Okay, that was badass, Lloyd. I applaud you. <laughs> but you see up on the terrace here, you see that, well, Colette is standing there. That will change, the because the highest, the character that will actually stand up there waiting for Lloyd is the one that got the highest affection towards him. But this is the one time that I really don't mind because I think it is very fitting that you actually, that you actually talk to Colette up there because of everything that just happened. This area resembles Ozette. Yeah. This entire area is surrounded by a forest. Lloyd, I heard about Chocolat. And about Marble? Yes, and other things as well. Were you hurt by Chocolat's hatred towards you? Oh well, yeah, it's definitely painful when someone hates you. Even if I deserved it. I see. But I'm going to do everything I can to make up for it. Even if I don't ever make up for it completely. Even if she never forgives you? Whether or not you're forgiven isn't important. It's the effort that matters. At least, that's what I think. I love these scenes. They're so nice. <laughs> Lloyd, I feel like I'm starting to hate humans more and more. Sorry, Genus. You don't have to apologize, Lloyd. I like you, as well as the people of Isalia. It's just that when I think about how there are lots of people who think just like the mayor... I remember a lesson where the professor said that words exist in order for people to understand one another. What do you do about people who don't want to understand? Genus. I'm sorry. I don't mean to take it out on you. Don't worry about it. The problem is what to do now. We need to know how the two worlds were forced apart. Before we can figure out a way to save them. How the worlds were forced apart. I wonder about that too, but... 
I also want to know why Yggdrasil split the world in two. Don't you think it was to protect the Great Sea? To protect Martell? But because the worlds were pulled apart, that phase thing got shifted. And the Great Seed became unstable, right? And that's not really protecting her. That's more like putting her in danger. Lloyd, you manage to say something intelligent every now and then. You're absolutely right. Every now and then? Jeez, that's harsh. The who, why, and how. That's what we need to know. Right now, all we know is who. I love that even though Rain actually gives Lloyd a compliment, she is still kind of mean. <laughs> Alright, what? You're not voiced? Okay, that's weird. Considering what's going to happen now, you should go and talk with you. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, you don't get anything out of, out of Sheena, apparently. How about Dirk? Uh, no. Okay, fine. And then we have Stellos up in Lloyd's bedroom. No idea why he's in Lloyd's bedroom, but he is. <laughs> I bet you lived a crappy hard life so far, huh? Gee, you sure know how to cheer someone up, don't you? <laughs> well, don't worry about it too much. So now what? Aren't you at your wit's end right about now? Why do you say that? The giant tree, which we thought was all good, goes nuts. Our cute little Colette comes down with some funky cold. It's just human nature to start getting tired of it all. I'm never gonna give up. If I quit... I'll never be able to face all the people who've suffered because of what I've done. So I'm gonna fight to the very end. I can't give up. Hot-headed and stubborn as hell. Well, but I guess that's what I dig about you. I think that's what everyone digs about Lloyd. <laughs> I know I said it before, I think Lloyd is a little bit of a generic hero, but... Uh, I do respect everything that he stands for. And as Celos just said... Hot-headed and stubborn as hell. Yes, everyone likes that about Lloyd. <laughs> but now though, let's talk to Colette. Which is still apparently my top... Top affection character. But for once... I really don't mind. Lloyd, I'm sorry. I'm being a burden to you again, aren't I? What are you talking about? You're the one that's suffering. Stop apologizing. Okay. I'm sorry. Lloyd? You saw... my shoulder, right? Yeah. I wonder if I'm just gonna turn into one big X-sphere. You dork. There's no way that'll happen. But it keeps spreading. Right now it's still hidden under my clothes. But eventually... Colette. If that happens, you're gonna hate me. I've caused you so much trouble, and now on top of that, my body's turning into this disgusting thing. It's not disgusting. Remember what I said. You're you. Even if you become an X-Fear. No. No, I won't let you become an X-Fear. Really? Yeah. Have I ever lied before? Well... Okay, I have. But I did keep my promise to give you your birthday present. So I swear that I'll save you no matter what. I promise. <laughs> you always save me. And you always keep the promises you've made to me. Yeah, so cheer up. When you're down, everyone feels sad. Including me. I'm... I'm truly thankful to have met you, Lloyd. This time, I don't want to disappear. I really don't. I'm gonna live, right? I'm going to be able to stay by your side, right? Of course. You're right here, in front of me, alive. I swear that you will be absolutely, positively, indubitably alright. Flanders would be proud. Andy doodly doodly. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Let's go see Altessa for Colette. Yes, regardless of whether or not we trust Kratos' words, 
We better return to Thothayala for now. Can we trust him, though? We don't have any other leads, so all we can do is to keep on going. Indeed. Nicely said, Lloyd. But before we go to Altessa's place, well, I won't do that in this video anyway, but I want to check something. Please don't attack me. Thank you. In the Acelia Forest. Because after a while... Stupid worm. I guess I'm just gonna kill you. Or not. <laughs> Thank you, Sheena's personal skill. Actually, why do I even... Why was I even necessarily cutting this battle? Sheesh. Just Eventually, there will be a certain... Bony guy that pops up here. Yeah, guess who? <laughs> Spoilers, by the way. But, uh, yeah, he won't pop up until later on. But sometimes I notice that he's a little unstable when he pops up. I don't really know why that happens, but... If you read a uh, guide, it usually says that he will pop up after a certain... A certain dungeon. But on my last playthrough of the Chronicles version, he was, ba he was actually right there in the beginning of the second disc, or, well, this part, which was kind of weird. Not complaining, though, I got those weapons damn early, and they were very helpful, but still weird. <laughs> but with that, as I said, I'm gonna end this off here. So, next time, the adventure continues. And we're gonna go to Altessa's place, and hopefully he knows something about Colette's illness. So, I thank you all for watching. And I see you all later.